G'day everyone and thanks for tuning in. I commenced my homeward bound journey towards my home in Adelaide after a phenomenal stay here in Cape York. We begin with a flight to Cairns, so let's get ourselves to the Northern Peninsula Airport to start today's video, shall we? And g'day guys and welcome back to another one of my videos and today I'm coming to you from the Northern Peninsula Area Airport here in Cape York and this cute little airport behind me signals the end of my holiday here in Cape York. It's been such an incredible, such a wonderful experience and unfortunately all good things must come to an end. So I'm heading back to Cairns um, with Rex on this one final flight with them on this incredible journey of mine through the beautiful state of Queensland. So come, let's go. I'm checked in. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty full flight. Um, this is a Friday what the one and the, the one flight on Friday that's uh, heading back to Cairns um, I like to think it's heading back to civilization so you have a lot of government workers who are leaving um, Cape York and heading back home and uh, for the weekend and then perhaps next week their work schedule will bring them back here again yeah but it looks like it's a pretty full flight um, I don't think there'll be any empty seats so uh, yeah let's uh, wait for the arrival of the aircraft Oh, by the way, um, if you can see my sweat on the head, it is so humid. That's why I'm, I'm in sleeveless because, uh, oh my God, it's just so warm. Whew. I am sweating like a pig. <sighs> Temperature this afternoon was a sweltering 35 degrees and in almost 100% humidity, there was no escape from this hellish combination of heat and moist. Besides being perpetually bathed in sweat, I was also dripping from places where the sun don't shine. If you're new to my channel, my name's Ryan, and I enjoy making travel and food related content. If that's your jam, Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out what's coming up. Make sure you check out my other videos related to this trip. I'll link them in the description below. The aircraft assigned to us today was Zulu Romeo Bravo, a Saab 340B which previously flew with American Eagle, and it's slightly over 26 years old at the time of writing. Rex is presently the world's largest operator of the Saab 340 aircraft. Hola, Claudia. Hi. <laughs> see you. Meet you again. <laughs> right the side. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Rex, I'm also working on flight 55 to the seat in front of you. Please ensure that your hand luggage, including your hand bags, are stuck behind your legs or on your lap. Large button drive devices such as laptops might remain switched off. Welcome on board the Saab 340. A seat pitch of 30 inches, and we have individual air nozzles above, which was sadly blowing warm air. Seat width is slightly over 18 inches, which is acceptable for my body size. Ice cold bottled water was hurriedly given out as the engine started, given how warm the cabin was. This was a very welcomed gesture. We were all hoping it would cool down as soon as we got airborne. Ensure your 
control the means which in your flight mode. Inhale, put your device, my continue to be used for ready to hold in your hands, so press the pocket in front of you. Large push on your device is obvious than first, once the fast and simple sign is been switched off. Your aircraft has four clearly marked exits, 12 open exits in brace, six, and two forward exits. The door that you entered and exit number Saturday Kevin. As reluctant as I was to leave this stunning part of Australia, it was time to head back to reality. Our flight time to Cairns today is 1 hour 45 minutes. The flight path is in a general south-southeasterly direction, arriving into runway 15 at Cairns International Airport. Clocking a distance of just over 763 kilometers, making this one of the longest sector in this airline's network. When flight time permits, Rex offers complimentary coffee, tea, water, and a sweet or savory snack. Soft drinks and alcohol are available for purchase for flights leaving Cape York, but you'd need to have the exact amount because only cash is accepted. I haven't stopped sweating from the time I checked out of my accommodation at 1 p.m. So I was probably more thirsty than I was hungry. So I asked for an extra bottle of cold one and had a lemon slice to go with it. Oh, I cannot wait to get to Cairns and have a cold, refreshing shower. As we got closer to Cairns, these clouds were a reminder that the wet season wasn't done. The entire east coast from here down to Sydney was experiencing some of the highest rainfalls ever recorded, leading to widespread devastating floods. Towns have been cut off for days and states have been stretched to the max trying to mitigate these disasters. On this day, Cairns was bracing for a wet evening and these clouds were coming for the party they weren't invited to. At the end of this flight, I would have spent a total of 19 hours on the Saab 340 over the course of the last few days. 4 flights, 14 airports and 3 overnight stops have brought me to this point. The point where I'm slightly deaf and won't be able to feel my bum for days. But I do not regret a single moment. We're now approaching the conclusion of my time with Rex. This airline has seen me through some of the most adventurous times of my life yet. This trip through Queensland has given me memories to last a lifetime and Rex was there cradling me through this journey one ear-shattering but numbing hour at a time. And I wouldn't have done this with anyone else. From the milk runs to approaches into far reaches of this amazing spectacular country, my heartfelt thanks go out to Regional Express Airlines. And no, I am not sponsored by anyone else to say this. So my thanks is sincere and untainted. I do not wish for this journey to end, but we would otherwise run out of fuel and ditch into the sea. So we have no choice but to land into Cairns International Airport.
welcome back to Cairns everyone. So that was my final, final flight with Rex for this trip and um, oh, I don't even know where to begin. This trip was just so spiritual for me, at least on a personal level. Um, the beauty of Cape York is just unparalleled. It's, I, I don't even know where to begin to describe how beautiful that part of the country is. Not just the country, it's a beautiful part of the world. It is so unique on its own, the people, the sights. I mean, wow. <laughs> yeah, so this is officially the end of my holiday and tomorrow I go back to familiar territory. I say hi to Qantas as I make my way back from Cairns to Adelaide. But hey, flying non-stop between Cairns and Adelaide would be too simple now, would it? Keeping with the theme of this trip, it will be another mini milk run, but this time with uh, Qantas. So I am flying from Cairns to Brisbane to Sydney and then Adelaide. I mean, <laughs> keep things interesting, right? So if you do not wish to miss those trip reports that will be coming up, hit the subscribe button and of course tap the bell notification icon. I will also leave uh, details of my Instagram on your screen right now. So you can chuck me a follow there so you can follow my travels in real time. Okay, in the meantime, until my next video, take care all of you and travel safe and I'll see you guys around again. Bye!